So when he died, I had found some things. I found a couple of letters and the letters had um, a return uh, address on it. It was Olga Graholska. I understand that, that my um, uh, father and Etka and maybe this other woman as well were uh, being hidden by a um, um, Ukrainian man and that the, whatever money they had, they had given him and he was now threatening to um, report them to the Germans. And so they ran away from him and they appeared at uh, Joseph's home and uh, asked for protection. They came and knocked on the door and um, Joseph told them that he would, uh, he, would, he, he would make a place for them and he took them into the woods and had them stay there for a couple of days while they dug uh, where he kept potatoes in the orchard uh, just close to the, the house. Um, so where they, they stored potatoes, he dug in the ground and they made a bigger space to hold three people. There was no lights or no water, no any, it was just a hole in the ground. Sometimes with the family would hear that there were going to be searches, that they left and that they went into the forest and were hiding there. I believe that there were still potatoes down there and that it appeared as if there was, it was still a place just for potatoes. At some point, my father's reading of these newspapers, he concluded that the uh, Ukrainians did not want the Poles there and they were going to try and um, uh, kill the Poles as well. And my father took Joseph to the side because sometimes they would come up in the dark and move around, etc. Um, he told Joseph, you have to leave here, you have to save yourself, you have to take care of your wife, she was pregnant. They had two children, Franciszek and another, and a daughter, Danka, um, and she was pregnant now with the third. Um, and he said, you, you have to protect yourself, you don't worry about us, leave. Um, whatever will happen to us will happen to us. According to Grocholsky, my father began to look for him and he began to walk across um, what was then Poland um, to find them stopping at Red Cross, stopping at, at Polish organizations, looking for where he could find them. And eventually he did find them. And um, uh, Helena, uh, Helena uh, their third child was born. My father was giving whatever rations he had to the family and was bringing food to them all the time and was bringing cloth diapers for Helena and whatever toys, etc., that he could, he could find. They told him that, that uh, if you save one life, you save a nation. And, um, and they sang to him and danced to him and they took him to, back to the train station with all these parcels and all these gifts, etc. for him. And he came home to his family and he said to them that if, uh, if Jews can find a way to dance and sing and to find a, a new way of living and a renewal in life, then he could too. And he could have, there was some promise in life.